Defying the odds. That's the theme behind this brand new book right here. It's called Animals I Want to See, a memoir of growing up in the projects and defying the odds. The book looks back at Tom Seaman's hardships as a child and how he went on to graduate summa cum laude and Pi Beta Kappa from Yale. Now a perfect score on his LSAT and attended Harvard Law. Incredible. Mm. Tom is here to continue the conversation with us this morning. Hi, Tom. Hi, how are you today? We're doing good. Thanks so much for joining us. So tell us what inspired you to write this book. So I had, you know, I had had this story in my background for many years and I had achieved some success and I would tell the story at a dinner party or to friends and they would be fascinated and very surprised that my background was as it was because they expected me so upper middle class or something like that, you know, grew up in some fancy neighborhood, but I grew up in the projects in a family of 14 in Toledo, Ohio. How did it and then I wanted to oh, tell the story and I, I was actually talking to Bill Clinton at an event. I met Bill Clinton a couple times and he was very interested in the story. You know, he grew up poor himself and he told me you got to write this story. So I did. And I noticed that there's a quotation from President Clinton on the back of your book here, which is pretty impressive. Uh, I'm curious how animals played a role, a major role in your life, uh, particularly growing up in Ohio. So there was a field in the projects behind our house, and it was really a dumping ground. But as a child, I had a strong sense of wonder, and I saw in this field the opportunity to see animals. And I started keeping a list of animals I had seen in the wild. And eventually, I lose that list, and I start a new list called Animals I Want to See, which is pretty interesting because I didn't have, of course, the money or um, the possibility of seeing those animals based on living in the projects but I sort of had a vision that I was going to get out. And the title is sort of a metaphor for all my hopes and dreams as a child to sort of achieve something in my life. You did something not many people have done, going from hardship in childhood to not just graduating from Yale, but making it into Harvard Law as well. What do you owe your success to? Well, I was always a very aspirational child, but I would say... The main thing writing the book did for me is I think it made me a kinder person because as I'm writing the book, I'm cataloging all these small kindnesses that are done for me along the way. And I begin to realize, you know, if you add up all these small kindnesses that were done for me, both in the neighborhood and outside, they sort of add up to a life. And so I attributed a lot of it to my mother, a fantastic mother, and I attributed it to my aspirational sense but also to these uh, innumerable small kindnesses and help that was done for me along the way. Tom, I love that you said that because I'm a true believer that kindness really can make a difference in our world and we need more of it. Um, I'm curious for those that are you know, sitting at home thinking, you know, I'm, I'm struggling, I'm feeling stuck in my current situation. Do you have any advice for those folks about trying to uh, get past that or move on from that, get out of it? I mean, it's, it's hard for me to give advice exactly, but I think the kindness track is one thing because when you do kindnesses, they not only help the other person, they actually make you a happier person and a more fulfilled person. And the second thing I would say is, I've always looked at the world with a sense of wonder, um, no matter how hard the circumstances or what I was facing that day. And I think um, writers have written about the fact that you lose your sense of wonder as you age because you get dominated by all the hardships of life and raising your children and paying the bills. And I think trying to reachieve a way of looking at the world with wonder and, and having gratitude for what you do have can bring a greater happiness to a person. So, Tom, what's next for you? I imagine, since this is a new book, you may be going on a book tour, maybe with a stop here in Seattle. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I have been I have been doing some events. Actually, I just got back from Ohio, and I did multiple events where I had some TV, some radio, and some speeches. And uh, the book publishes on May 14th, although it's already on sale now. And so I am in the very uh, difficult phase of many promotional events yes of course awesome well we hope you can make it out to the pacific northwest with your book and congratulations again your story uh, is going to help a lot of people well thank you for having me
What an inspiring book. And I just want to read this, this uh, quote that uh, former President Bill Clinton put on the back. Part of it uh, reads in, in part here. Uh, he says, this book is terrific. And it's a moving memoir about dreaming big and making great things happen. So, I mean, to have uh, a former president, no matter you know which party they're with, um, write that about something yeah. that you put together about climbing from a pretty tough childhood to the mm -hmm. great successes that Tom has seen in his life. Uh, what a cool thing and what a great story about dreaming big and making it happen. And praise from a former president. Yeah.